Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to build this. This is part one of my medieval keep. This is going to be uh, kind of a turret tower, or you know, it could even be a central keep if you want. But I'll give you a quick tour before we get onto the build. So, you've got this little courtyard here, which isn't really part of it, I just threw it together. Um, then, as you go here, you've got these stairs up. And you go in through the door, and you've got this little, this little room here. Um, with windows you can look out of and a torch which isn't really necessary so you go up and you come up to this little this opening here and it's got places for you to shoot from and you can have a good view of the, the world around you and then if you go up again you're up on the seat lane so I'm going to show you how to build this let's trans transition over to the building area alright so the first thing you want to do is lay down a uh, you lay down your foundation which and so you've got it here you've got the frame and you want it to be two, six, seven wide but you also want after you've hold on turn it down a bit after you've made your frame you want to after you've laid down your foundation you want to then make the frame which I will just show you in a second uh, I'm going to skip ahead here so we've got that. What you want is you want to have four logs on the outer bit, you know, poking out over the edge. Then you want to have a slight diagonal and then four again. So you want that to be a square. So next thing you want to do is you want to bring all of these up six, I think. No, just you want to bring them up five so that they're six high. Uh, let's give it a head for this as well. Now we've got that done. We want to increase, make the layer, the inner layer of your cobblestone all the way up to the very height you want to bring that do that all the way around all right so now we've got that done we want to take your your stone stairs and then as per normal you want to make your little wall feet except for the two bits on the outside for that you want to put a block and then put your stairs on top of it block and stairs now if you want to attach anything to this like a hall or you know just a corridor or maybe have it run into a wall um, then you're probably going to want to leave one side of these this wall blank instead of you know instead of putting the the stairs on it it'll just be it'll just inconvenience you later on so you want to put your upside down stairs up on here as this will be the first level one, two, three. there we go so now what you want to do is you want to fill all along here you want to bring these up another five I think hold on let me think no you don't hold on it's kind of hard to remember how exactly how to build these somewhat more complex structures so what you want to do is you want to take the four corners and replace them with an upwards facing log and then you want to place the inlets with uh, these sideways logs So now, what we want to do is you want to bring this up another five. Like so. And then you want. Hold on, let me see if I can remember. I'm gonna go and look over my other design to see if I can remember this. Alright, so you do. You want to bring this all, all around here. You want to bring all of these straight, you know, straight up until you reach the height. Now, this tower can be as tall or as short as you want. It doesn't even have to be a tower. You can just have it as a room, or I don't know, like a barracks or something. I will do a barracks tutorial. So, just just in case you're 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 intrigued by that idea. So there. Uh, well, actually, no, this wall isn't finished. So you wanna, what you want to do now is you want to bring all of these logs up one, just the logs, and then you want to put a block in between them all. Actually, no, wait, 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 I was, 
Incomplete. Then you want to bring them up another one. So you want to bring them up two from where they were before. And then you want to put stairs all along the top of them. Like so. Okay, so we actually want to bring this up a bit more. So we bring it up another three. So it's five up from the top of the, the stairs. Yeah. Now you can build this out of anything, as with pretty much all of my other builds. You can build it out of wood, you can build it out of, out of stone, out of gold. You can build that out of dirt if you want, but I don't think that would look very good. Okay. So now we got that done. What we want to do is we want to put an upside down stair. You want to come up one, two, three, four, up four from there, and then put a stair on all four of the corners, an upside down stair, like that, and then you want to bring up, your, you want to bring up two uh, wooden, uh, wooden logs, but you also want to go ahead and do that every second block in between, so you've basically got, it, it thickens, then it thins a bit and then it widens out again. I'm kind of, This tutorial seems kind of disjointed because I still haven't gained proficiency in tutorial doing yet so forgive me if it's a bit disjointed and a bit out of place. Not out of place but you know out of sorts. Right like this. And then you want to grab your upside down stairs then and fill them in in between here so you've basically got a mirror image of what you built at the bottom. Okay, and then a block on top of them. You're actually probably going to be knocking these blocks out in a minute, but we will put them in anyway, in case you want to keep them. So, you want to bring this up another four? No, uh, three. Yeah, up another three, so it doesn't get a bit too top heavy, for you know to look awkward. And if it does look awkward, you can just shorten it or heighten it as much as you want. It's all up to you. This build. Just have a look at it from the ground. Yeah, it doesn't look too top heavy or anything like that. Alright, so you want to fill in the middles here with your cobblestone. Or your wood, or you know, fill, just fill it in with your block. I'm going to say cobblestone and then... I'm going to say cobblestone, but I'm probably going to mean whatever you want. So, like that. And now, like my with my tower, you want to jetty all of the, the logs out one, like this. You're basically going to put some ramparts, or not ramparts, battlements on the top. I think ramparts still one of the right, right words to use. I'm not sure. I'll look that up. So we're almost finished with this. Now with this tutorial, I'm going to show you it bit by bit, but I'm going to be building one keep. You know, so I'm not going to show you how to put them together. Well, I probably will. When I do build something new, it'll probably be either branching off or it'll be separate. And then, as per usual, for the battlements, you fill this in. But you only want to fill in the middle two. For now, anyway. Okay. Now this is where it gets a little bit... No, it doesn't actually, never mind. So you want to bring all of these up and in one, so you've got like a little kind of diagonal kick... Uh, not kick, but... Why did I say kick? But a little diagonal ramp, and you want to make that shape on all four of the corners. Like so. It's really annoying. There, 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 and there. And this is where your banners or your flags, or even if you don't want them, you can cut this out and have just more battlements. It's where your flags are going to fly from. So now you want to grab wooden planks and fill in the floor, because this is going to be. Actually, no. You want to fill in the out, the very outer layer with cobblestone. And then you fill in the middle, the, the the middle with wood. All right, so there we go with that. Uh, I did mi I did kind of skip this, you know, for the rest of the battlements making. You you um just put a slab there, but now you also fill in your the rest of the the top logs with 
with this. Alright, so there we go with that. Oh wait, not finished yet. Uh, the reason I kind of jumped there is because my mother's in the next room playing with the dogs. So, and you could hear it. The microphone was possibly picking it up. So I went through and I changed the settings so that it doesn't. So, so to finish off, you pretty much just raise this up and then do the usual um, flag hold thing. Ah, damn it. <laughs> you can hear it's kind of like a, it sounds like a cave in there because it's so empty and there's no light. But you can just light it up as, as you go. There, 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 there. And then it slabs on top. And you can fly your flags of any color from it. You can also put beacons here somewhere if you want to. But you know, you'd have to replace the inner bits here with your ore blocks or whatever. So there you go. You've got the basic shape. Uh, I'm gonna go check something out and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so now that's done. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the entrance. So, what you want is you find one side that you want the, the entrance to be on. You bring it up uh, three. Then, oh wait, hold on. You want that's the kind of shape you want. A sort of diagonal incline. Yeah. So, you can then go ahead and now you've got your, your entrance way. But what I like to do is I bring this around and kind it kind of puts stairs, upside down stairs and then not upside down stairs. So that it looks, you know, it's got a bit more structural stability. You just knock that out. Oh great, bats are spawning. And then, and in here you just fill in the leather the level with your with wood or whatever you want to fill it with and hold on if I just put a torch down here you've got a nice little storage area or a dungeon or a prison or whatever you want to put there so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna bring up five one two three one two three four five and then fill it in and add another floor I know the other design didn't have, the, the one I showcased at the beginning didn't have as many floors. But, you know, I just feel like adding. Damn it, go away, bats. So, what you're going to do is you want to grab your oak wood stairs, or whatever you want to use, you can use cobble. And create your staircase by doing this, by alternating upside down and right way upstairs. I like to do this because it takes up less space on the walls. But also because it's just it looks quite nice as well. Okay. I'm now not the find out where to knock out the the ceiling. And there we go. So that's how you do the stairs to get up and down. But with regards to the windows so I'm meaning a bonbon, I shouldn't be. You wanna nope, that's wrong. And then refill this in. All right, so you want to find, you want to find the bit that has just a clear opening here, and then knock out three. Um, you do the same all along, until you've got a nice kind of, and then put a, a slab there. But you want it so that you can't. Well, you don't really want it so you can't walk out, but you know it's just now you've got a nice looking window. And that's pretty much the basics of it. You can always you can go through and add your own things here and there if you want to. Um, so I'll leave you with this, and until next time, happy building!